Hello, it's Sarah. I'm back with one more thing I made for Kelsey. Um, I made her a matchbox dresser and it turned out really cute. Um, I just put some flowers, put some metal pieces and dream. I'm liking using the chipboard in the back um, with the on the edge die. And this one I just used little, um, those little glass marble things for the feet. This actually, these were on clearance. These were bead landing charms. I think they were on sale or on clearance and I thought they'd be good. Save me the time of making the little pulls for the drawers. And I have been doing, um, what is that called? Uh, the first one I did, let's see. This one I did not do it, but the other two I made, I did distress is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, these I distressed the tops of the drawers, but on this one I didn't, I also didn't put paper all the way around it. I only put it on the back. Oh, I didn't even put it on the back, on the inside and the front. So that might be why it's like less um, tight in the drawers. But I'm liking that like distressing it actually keeps it from sticking too. So I put paper all the way around the drawers that way. And um, I like it like that, especially if it's a gift. Like this one, let's see what I did. I think I did put paper all the way around, yeah. I put paper all the way around. It just looks more finished. I mean, not that anybody's really gonna see the drawers, but this one, let's see. I don't know. I mean, the bottom I didn't do anything to, and then I just inked the sides, the other sides, and put paper inside of it. I don't know, I guess it looks, you're not going to see the bottom. You're only really seeing in the drawer anyway. The black looks pretty good. Anywho, I'm liking these. I think I'm going to make a six one. I'm going to do two, four, six boxes, and I might keep that one. These are, um, I do a craft show. Well, this is for Kelsey, obviously. Oh, by the way, I got seam binding. This is my first time ever getting seam binding. And I do see what all the hoopla is about because I never had seam binding and I just used, I used like satin ribbon and stuff and it's pretty, but this is different. It's like thinner and I got mine at Paper Whimsy, which I actually, I think it might be in the UK. I'm not positive, but it's where I've gotten um, some downloadable images. So... They happened to have it and I ordered it and it came, I mean, it was, it took a little bit longer, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I just got like, I don't really, I think it's three yards. I got like th these colors and then these colors. So I'm happy. So I actually, I put, I put um, seam binding on Kelsey's right here. I just made a little bow. I got a little crazy with the flowers because I really liked how this one turned out with just like a little bit of flowers and the sprays. But, I mean, I think she'll like it. I don't think it's like anything she's ever had before. So, anyway. And then, my other thing is the card. And I need some help, guys, because I don't have a lot of sentiment stamps. So, what I did was I made a paper bag card, which I'm enjoying these. And, oh, I got to put the money in here. I just put Hooray for You, which is actually, it's a cl another clearance stamp I got. $1.99, and it just has... This right here, hooray for you. Um, I used the Believe in Your Dreams was, I think from here. Let's see. Yep, Believe in Your Dreams. These are the little Kaiser Craft ones. And I think Joann's has had these for like really cheap. And they're pretty good. But I, I want like sentiments like with a little verse or like I have these which were on. These I got from for a dollar at TJ Maxx which is... Their Inka Dinka Do. And this Inka Dinka Do one. I probably got that for cheap too. I do not have a lot of sentiment stamps. And you kind of need those when you're making a card and stuff. So I just put Believe in Your Dreams at the top. I put Hooray for You. And we're gonna I'm going to put like 50 bucks in there. Put that there. And then on this one, which kind of looks stupid. I don't like it really. Enjoy the journey. I love the sentiment. But the writing, it's Tim Holtz writing. And for this 
card, I think it should be like more fancier script. So anyway, and then I just put congratulations, which I think is on here. Congratulations. This is just a bunch of random short sentiments. So who knows where I can get good sentiment stamps. I've looked quite a bit, but it's like when you're looking for stamps, there's like, you, it doesn't just go right to sentiment stamps. I don't know. It's just a lot to look at, but I would definitely love anyone's input. Like, cause I would have liked to put a verse on here, some type of like about the future journey, enjoy the journey type verse, but cause she, it's a graduation card. So I just put believe in your dreams, hooray for you and enjoy the journey. Congratulations. That's all about the 50 bucks anyway. <laughs> so anyway, those are the rest of Kelsey's gifts. So she has this this and this and I hope she likes them I enjoyed making them um so you only graduate once so anywho um that's it for now thanks for watching